My name's Taylor, and today we are going to learn how to make a really cool infinity scarf. First, we are going to get out our pieces of fabric and pin them on one of the short edges with the right sides of the fabrics together. That means we want the pretty sides of those fabrics together. As you pin this, if one of these edges is a little bit more frayed, make sure that you let it stick out a little bit further. If these edges aren't the right length, um, to match, we can stretch whichever side needs to be longer. Then we're going to stitch along the edge with a zigzag stitch. That's going to let it be able to keep stretching after it's sewn. Once you sew that zigzag stitch, we're going to fold this right sides together, first match up that center seam there, and then go to both edges. We're just going to sew and pin along this long edge here, so leave those um, short openings open on the ends. And here is where you probably are really going to have to um, stretch and work this so that they are the same length. Go ahead and sew along there with a zigzag stitch as well. That way the fabric will still be able to stretch without popping a stitch. Once you turn it right side out, we're going to not twist this but just pull these two edges together and match up that long seam here. Once you match that up, go ahead and stick a pin in it. And then notice we are pinning the right sides together. So that is good. We're going to work around here and pin as much as we can. We obviously won't be able to pin around the entire opening here because it is a tube so um, just kind of pin as far as you can. So you can tell here that I'm getting about as far as I can. So I've pinned as far as I can. We're going to zigzag stitch along where it's pinned and leave that other edge as an opening. So once that zigzag stitch, we can take the pins out, and since there's an opening that we left, we can just tuck this right inside, see how it disappears? Then these edges want to automatically roll inside, that's good. We're going to line them up and pin, and then what we're going to do is we're just going to sew right along the edge, right there, um, with just a straight stitch. See how it's super close to the edge, nobody will ever notice and go ahead and give it a tug and make sure that you've got all those threads and stuff caught so there's no holes. And now it's time to customize. So you can take one of these little handmade labels and we can sew it on here wherever you want. First, um, go ahead and tie a knot around one side here. Um, this will be the easiest way to do this on this loosely knit fabric. So once you get that knot tied on one side, just cut that off. And then so um, as I show, make sure that you're away from this bottom seam because you probably don't want your pretty stuff next to a seam. Just go ahead and sew through there and then come back up the other hole. And then I'm going to show you here a trick to tie this off. Just stick the needle underneath that handmade tag and then back out through this loop and pull tight and that creates a knot. Make sure when you're going under that tag you're not catching the fabric. And then you can just go through the fabric a little bit, come back out, and then pull tight and cut and that hides the tail. Congratulations, you just made a beautiful handmade scarf ready for you to wear or gift.